So here we'll take a look at how we can use common logarithms and our calculator in order to solve an equation like this. Um, I'm going to show you more than one way to do it. Uh, one thing that we can do is this, is we can uh, take the log of both sides of the equation and write log uh, of 7 to the power of x equals log of 2. Now, this is called the property of equality of logs, and we've looked at it before, but I'm just going to remind you that we've seen this before. Uh, if we have something like uh, the log of x, and it's equal to the log of y, as long as the bases are the same, and I'll just go ahead and put a couple, you know, I'll put base b in there, you know, whatever b happens to be. Um, if we have log of x equals log of y, we can then say that x must equal y. Well, it turns out it works the other way around. If we have x equals y, we can say that the log of x must then equal the log of y, and that's what I did here. I have this equals this, so I just said then the log of this must equal the log of this, okay? Or this equals that, and the log of this equals the log of that. All right, so I'm just using the property of equality of logs. Probably worthwhile to make a note of that over here. Let's do it. So you'll notice one of the tricky things here is that the x is the exponent. And so uh, it's hard to get that all by itself. But you might recall that when we were learning about the properties of logs, there was this thing called the power property of logs. And with the power property, what we said was this. We said that um, if we have the log of something, I'll, I'll call it m, and it's raised to some power p, we can rewrite that as p times log of m. And so with that idea, I'm just going to move that x out in front. So this is the same as x times log of 7 equals log of 2. Now, you'll notice that when I wrote these logs here, I didn't put any number for the base. That means that we're going to assume they're common logs in their base 10. So the next thing that I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides of this equation by log of 7. And when I do, I get this nifty little result uh, that x must equal log of 2 divided by log of 7. Now, that's an exact answer. And on my test, I might ask for the answer in this form to get the exact answer. Or I might ask you to use a calculator. And if you use a calculator, then the best you can do is give me an approximate answer. So for the approximate answer, we'll do log of 2 divided by log of 7 uh, in the calculator. Uh, again, be careful when you're entering this stuff into the calculator. Um, when you do, I'm not even sure how it's going to work on this guy here, um, but when you do, it's really easy to get the parentheses mixed up. So, so if you write it in your calculator, log of 2, um, before you do just d the divided by sign, um, I would say it might not be a terrible well at a bare min make sure you close the parentheses okay and then if you do the divided by sign and then you do log seven uh, you, you, you won't make a mistake. Um, an, an easy thing that goes wrong here is, is that um, with no closing parentheses, if you just write divided by log 7, what you get is um, you get 2 divided by log 7, and then you take the log of that. We don't want that. So let's make it log 2 divided by log 7. Okay, now with that idea in mind, uh, let's go ahead and let's calculate and see what that gets to be. So that'll be uh, 2. We'll do the log. And now that we have the result, now I can divide that by um, log of, um, oh, whoops, dang it. See, already screwing up on the calculator. Let's try it again. 2 log and then divided by, I now have to punch in the number 7. Now your calculator might be different, and then I'll hit log. Okay, so now it's log 2 divided by log 7, and it says that gets me 0.845. So let's go ahead and do it. So again, uh, uh, it's approximate, uh, well, oh, be careful here. Um, let me get this eraser here. Let's get rid of this. Um, what I just wrote was exact, um, but we want approximately. So um, this divided by this gets us, let's see if I can see this, um, 
uh, 0 0.8451 I'm rounding I'm rounding so uh, so that's the answer now uh, I'll leave it at that for a sec now I want to show you another way to solve this problem and uh, uh, it's it's something that we've already looked at we can just convert this exponential equation into um, logarithmic form and the way we do that is with the Weingarten whirl we go from here to here to here and uh, and what we say is just rewrite in log form so we rewrite it as log uh, let's see log we start with the number 7 so base 7 of 2 equals x and in that way we solve yippee yahoo remember we wanted to get x all by itself and we did it um, the only problem with this is is that our calculator may or may not do log base 7. Uh, in the old days, you definitely could not get a calculator that would do log base 7. Uh, nowadays, you guys are a little spoiled. You're lucky. We do have something that does. Um, the only problem is uh, we're, we're going we're gonna to pretend as though we only have a calculator that does base 10. So, so this is, we can't do this on our calculator. So we need something new, and that's why I'm going to give you this uh, this new rule or property. Um, it's called the change of base formula. So the change of base formula looks a little bit like this. It says that if I have the log uh, base uh, m of n, something along these lines, um, I can rewrite that. Notice that this log has a base m. I can rewrite it and change it so that it has a different base, and here's how I rewrite it. I write it as log uh, base b, whatever the new base is, of n, and then I put that all over the log of the new base b of m. In other words, I take the log of this guy and the log of this guy and I now apply any new base that I would like now that's a lot to take in and and you may you may be going whoa what the heck is he even trying to say um, let's do a quick example where one with, with something we can believe that works so let's try this so what if we had to do log base 3 of 9 now you'll remember this is this is a logarithm that we can compute in our heads and so but before I even go on I'm gonna ask you to try to tell me what is the value of log base 3 of 9 pause the video and think about it for a minute see if you can get it on your own okay I hope that you paused it and I hope you're back with me um, I hope that you came up with the number 2 in other words 3 to the power of 2 gets me 9 so this should be 2 so we're going to test the theory. We're going to say, well, what if I wanted to convert this into base 10? So I'm going to say log of 9. Remember, if I write no base, we'll assume that it's base 10, if that's how common logs work. Uh, and then we'll put that over log of 3. Again, I've written no base, so we'll assume it's 10. So we started off with base 3, and now we have two logs that are base 10, these guys we can punch in the calculator. The base 3 I cannot. So, uh, why don't you try on your calculator uh, to do log of 9. Make sure again that you use parentheses before you do divide. And then divide that by log of 3. I'm hopeful that the answer that you come up with is 2. Can you double check it? Um, pause the video, give it a try, and then I'm going to try it on my calculator and let's see how it works out. Okay, hopefully you pause the video. Let's take a look and see how it works for me. So I'm going to do I'm going to put in 9 and then I'll take the log of that and then I'll divide that by 3 and then I'll take the log of that 3 and then we'll say equals. And when I do, I get the answer 2. Now, I have to admit, now that I'm looking at this, I'm wondering about a calculation on a previous video. I'm going to have to go double check and make sure I, or I'm sorry, a little bit earlier in this video. I'm going to go double check my calculation. Oh yeah, sure enough, uh, after uh, that last calculation, I realized that I must have punch something in wrong into the calculator and so this answer should not have been 0.8451 it should be 0.3562 so let's fix that up so get rid of that um, 0.3562 I think let me double check let's make sure that's correct 
0.3562. Yes. Okay. Glad, glad that I fixed that. Glad that I caught that. Okay. Let's go back to this. So with this idea that this change of base formula works, we're going to use it in order to figure out what x equals here. So let's give it a try. So um, x must equal log. Oh, uh, before I write anything more, let's see if you can write out what it is. Go ahead and pause the video. Okay. Hopefully you're back. Hopefully you wrote that this is log 2 divided by log 7. Okay. And by the way, I want to remind you folks that this is very different from the quotient property of logs. This is not equal to, you don't need to write this, but I'm just, I just want to show you, this is not the same as log of 2 divided by 7. That's known as the quotient property, and that was, that's part of the properties of logarithms. That was a whole nother lesson, so please don't make that mistake. Note to self. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so back to this. So let's go ahead and do the math and see what that turns out to be. Um, oh, we kind of already know because we already did it, right? Um, it's just that we took a different path to writing this out. So a minute ago, we wrote out that uh, that if we took the log of both sides, we could get log of 2 divided by log of 7, and it'd be this. So this is just a different way to get to the same answer. Here, we just rewrite uh, the exponential equation in logarithmic form uh, by doing the Weingarten whirl. And then after we get the logarithm, we use the change of base formula to get the two logs. In this other technique, we had the exponential equation. We take the log of both sides. We then isolate the variable by dividing by the log. And, uh, and then we end up with the same result, log of 2 over log of 7. And again, our calculator will help us compute the common log. Woo! I don't know about you, but I find this stuff to be rather exciting. All right, uh, let me go ahead and stop this video. That's enough for that.